20th century problem solvers are continually at work seeking new ways to improve our information processing technology. Their tool, the computer, with its capacity for almost unlimited information storage. Core storage, for example, in the area of a million characters with access times of less than a microsecond. Input-output units with capacities up to a billion characters with access times in milliseconds. Providing the storage capacity for these direct access disk storage drives are IBM's high quality disk packs, an integral part of computer performance. The manufacturing process of these magnetic disk packs is the subject of this film report. At IBM's plant, precise and meticulous step-by-step -step procedures guarantee complete quality control. The process begins by cutting the required material from the raw punch substrate in order to obtain the inner and outer diameters. Substrates are thoroughly cleaned as they are conveyed through a cleaning bath, a quality control step which removes residue and contaminants after the cutting process. Substrate thickness is automatically measured to determine if it meets production specifications. Following measurement verification, substrates are automatically sorted and stacked. In the process of producing the raw substrates, material stresses have been introduced which must be eliminated. This is done by flat baking the substrates in a conveyor furnace, after which they are cooled to room temperature. After this step, all remaining processes take place in a clean room environment. The precise finish required for the surfaces of the substrate held in place by means of vacuum ducts, is obtained by diamond turning them on lathes. Above each cutter, a vacuum duct sucks up metal dust. The substrate surface must again be checked to compare its smoothness against specifications. The meter reading is shown in microns. An operator introduces to a 2260 terminal process information such as lot number, operator identification, shop date, and lot size. From the terminal, this data is fed to a computer for production analysis and control. Special clothing must be worn by technicians entering the clean room. As they walk through, vacuum ducts remove any residue of contamination from their person. In the ultrasonic clean room, discs are assembled in lots and ultrasonically clean in several alkaline solutions to remove all impurities and prepare disc surfaces for magnetic coating application. The alkaline bath solutions are used to obtain the required adherence of coating to the substrate. Again, additional process information is fed into the computer via the terminal. In this process, disk coating material, the actual carrier of information and storage media, is prepared. The coating material consists of iron oxides dispersed in an epoxy binder. The substrate is placed on a spindle in the coating booth, where cleanliness remains imperative, because any impurities in the coating will result in errors when the disc is used on a direct access drive. The coating material is poured automatically onto the rotating substrate. Any excess material is spun off by increasing the rotational speed. Heat lamps are then used to dry the coating.
After drying the first side, the disc is turned over and the entire coating process is repeated. The volatile nature of the ingredients used in this area requires that process information be keyed pneumatically to an adjacent location, but still allows the operator to read the graphic display through a protective glass window. To cure the newly applied coating, the discs, moved by carts to reduce personal handling, are placed into ovens and baked. After baking, the coated discs undergo fine buffing by automatic polishing machines to provide a very smooth surface, a critical factor for correct disc performance. Another test checks the hardness and the abrasion resistance of the coating, which along with other process information is fed into the computer, continuing management's comprehensive quality control checks. To keep surfaces constantly clean, the tested discs are now buffed using a fine paper roll. Next is a combination manufacturing and test operation where burnishing removes minute imperfections. Results of this test are also fed into the computer. To analyze each disc's magnetic surface, a completely automated functional magnetic test is made, which involves the first actual write and read test of the disc. The results determine the particular disc position in a pack. A center disc must meet special requirements in that both sides must be of high quality. With a top or bottom disc, only the side used in the pack must meet these same standards. A technician now selects the discs for center, top and bottom position based on the test results, and the pack is assembled. The white gloves emphasize the continuing care taken during these precise manufacturing processes. The disc pack must now be balanced to exclude any chance of read and write errors at the 2400 RPM working speed. Balancing the pack is much like having the tires on your car dynamically tested at high speed. The surface of each disc in the pack must now be burnished, just as the individual discs were. Burnishing heads, operating half the distance of the normal disc drive operation, remove any correctable imperfections and reject packs where imperfections can't be removed. As with other operational steps, process information continues to be sent to the computer through the terminal. Final disc pack testing for a 1316 pack is made on a 2311 drive and for a 2316 pack on a 2314 drive. This testing determines if the pack will operate correctly on the customer's location drive and is even more demanding. Write and read tests are made on every track surface of the pack. Any detected permanent errors result in pack rejection. These testers are directly connected to the computer so that only objective data will be entered for determining manufacturing quality standards. All of the process information and test data obtained through the 20 input terminals is condensed into important test reports. This permits total step-by-step -step analysis to detect production problems and permit rapid evaluation of the overall manufacturing process. This gives quality assurance personnel objective and comprehensive measurement information, 
which helps to ensure the highest standards of production control and product quality. Management also benefits from having immediate access to production information via keyboard and video displays. This permits timely objective decisions in advance and in anticipation of possible problem areas, rather than having to react to yesterday's information. Producing highest performance disc packs requires extensive quality control, skill and precision, and the computer's ability to assist management in maintaining total production control. The IBM magnetic disc pack, an important element in information processing. 